Betty and Veronica go sleuthing. Josie has a secret admirer, and we're gonna find about serpents from actual serpents. Yeah. It's Riverdale Rewind. Uh, welcome to the show, guys. We're hanging out here. It's Sodu, Zane, Drew Ray Tanner, the Jordan Connor. That's oh, their social uh, handle. There we go. And we are having lunch right now uh, as we are a meal, depending on when you're watching this. Um, and we're actually doing a giveaway here. If you like the Johnny Rockets page and share this episode, we are going to send you to go see Jordan Connor's show. What's the show called? It's called The Night Before Christmas. And it runs December 12th to 17th yep. here in Vancouver. So hopefully you live in Vancouver to win this prize. Otherwise, we will just send you these gift cards so you can go to Johnny Rockets. But guess what? The Johnny Rockets is in Vancouver too. So uh, $40 of these to go see your show. Will you do like an autograph signing if they win? 100%, yeah. Really? Do a little kiss booth. Oh! oh. <laughs> We're making big promises. The prize. Yeah. There you go. So yeah. you can take a date go. We can get a kiss with Jordan Connor at the end. All right, so we're going to talk about today's episode. It was very interesting for me. Favorite episode of the season because it was this really weird Pulp Fiction-y style broken into three uh, sections, almost like a Simpsons Treehouse of Terror episode. I love and those. I thought it was really cool. It was shot in a different kind of style. Again, I always talk about Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and I'm always excited about her coming to the show. It was spooky. They said the word spooky a lot. And... <laughs> I felt like it was a really good Halloween episode. But the first section was all about the serpents, so I'm glad you guys are here to answer some questions that Sonu and I have had all season about the serpents. First of all, what's sure. the difference between a serpent and a ghoulie? Ooh, yeah. Uh, leather uh, studs, studs on the leather. Shut yep. up, really? That's the difference. <laughs> that's the costume design? 100%. No, um, those, that's one of the difference. Uh, the difference is the ghoulies are, I would say... A little bit more of a, I want. I don't want to say hardcore gang, but I think they're involved in more crime than the Southside Serpents are. At yeah, least, think, at least in the high school level. And I think <laughs> so it's not jingle jangle. It's like something else that they're transporting around. No, it, it's jingle it's the jangle, jangle jangle. But like okay. we're getting, we get blamed a lot for what the ghoulies yeah. do, but we don't. And I think we're actually not the ones doing it. And I think know? the serpents are more of like a family. Mm -hmm. Then, then the ghoulies where they're kind of like, yeah, they're all about like gang life and all that kind of stuff. We're more, we're like, we're a family and we're we're kind of more um, home life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, good, uh, they're and good like, gangsters. We're, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like we're products of our circumstances. That's mm. what I was. And, and our and our history is a lot more rich and long longer than the ghoulies have yeah. been. I think they're just like a little small faction that kind of came out of nowhere. We've been around for a long time. Yeah. So. Are we gonna see a little bit more battle between you guys and the ghoulies lately, or what? Yeah, I think there might be a little more something to happen with, with the ghoulies. Um, I mean, they're in jail right now, so we'll see. That's right. Oh, yeah. well, no spoilers from these guys. <laughs> you can give us a little bit. So, obviously, you're not in this episode, uh, but they talked about a lot. Mm -hmm. Penny Peabody came back, your mm -hmm. favorite, because you right. love saying her name. Uh, even your name's funny, too, Sweet Pete. Like, you guys you guys have Fangs Fogarty. You guys what? all have funny names. Well, Fangs Fogarty's from the comics. Yeah. So. yeah. Oh, yeah. Sweet Pete's not. Sweet Pete's not from the comics, no. Looked and, everywhere and up funny and thing down. about Fangs Fogarty in the comics. But he was a fat white kid in the comics. He was yep. this big, snaggle toothed uh, Who bully. Who was Peabody's boyfriend. So, typecast. Which was, what? Which was Peabody's, uh, yeah, they were in a in a relationship what? which is kind of cool oh, so they changed wait hang on penny peabody's penny peabody and yeah. fangs fogarty were like like midge and uh and moose That's oh, kind of illegal. so are you gonna hook up with this like older lady cannot confirm nor to die Aww. So you are going to hook up this older lady. No. Y'all are in high school. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, That's right. Nothing is off limits on Riverdale. No, there's no, there's, uh, there's no real connection there other than that she works for our gang as a lawyer. Why do you think that she looks so different than the rest of the Southside Serpents? Because uh, we were talking uh, on a podcast about mm -hmm. how the Southside Serpents all have a darker coloring, and perhaps there's like a native influence, an aboriginal kind of yeah. uh, uh, inspiration for the casting of that. But she and uh, Machin, uh, who's – was it Machin? Machen, we can't figure out. It's Machen. Oh, it is Machen. Uh, oh. I think it's right. <laughs> but yeah, speaking of the Southside Serpents, uh, the necklace yeah, is back. Um, they are like white and blonde. So what yeah. does that signify? And FP and, and, and Jughead too. And, um, Fair skinned, yeah. Yeah. But dark hair. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I mean, the Southside Serpents don't discriminate against white people. So <laughs> we'll we'll put the white people in our gang if they, if they do. White the people law are welcome us. on the South Side. <laughs> yeah, and right. she's a lawyer too, right? We have to remember that. So she's gotten some What's that supposed high to end education. I'm just saying. What yeah, is but that we put her to through, We put her through university. <laughs> no, I hate. I'm not, I'm not making any like racial comments. I'm just saying oh, okay. that you know the the serpents are usually more circumstantial, and maybe that she didn't live kind of in the same community or wasn't around, and she's maybe I don't know. I mean, there's a backstory between that and where she came from. Maybe she was dating someone who was 
part of the serpents and kind of got involved that way. Oh, so you're just making a big backstory now. For her. <laughs> yeah. I'm making my own theories right here. We're not getting any people out of on here. But you know one thing she did is one thing I realized you got to be careful of is like don't tell, like like let people videotape you on your phone because when you like that's what got him in trouble. Who's that? Uh, when uh, she had the thing and she showed Jughead when he went to the drug right. deal yep. and then you can oh, see the video. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like be careful what's on your phone, you guys. Be careful what's on your phone. Don't 100%. let it get compromised. The photos. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> because I feel I feel like you might have some photos that might compromise you. <laughs> you might be right. Oh! <laughs> but, yeah. but uh, yeah. Put that on. I'm going to go change my password like now. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm going to go to. Go, like, Put that on. Re on your reset your phone to factory reset settings. My phone. Just get rid of my phone in general. <laughs> Just burn it. Yep. The sinners, they're saying that the Black Hood is doing God's work. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? It's got very religious on today's episode. It makes sense. It's a small town. I think someone's out there, you know, pursuing a certain um, kind of mission to make sure that the sinners are eradicated. And so this is what he's doing or this is what she's doing. Is that what they do in small towns? I know you two are from small towns. Yeah. We're from, did you know we're from North, North Delta? He's yeah. from North oh, Delta. Wow. Yeah. And we're from, and we're from we're Abbotsford, Abbotsford. Aldergrave right. area too. So. Yeah, do you so. agree with that? That like sinners need to be punished in the small towns? Well, Abbotsford is the <laughs> Bible belt of Canada. Yeah. yeah. So is it? It is. Yeah. There's so many churches out mm -hmm. there. But no, like religion is really, I think, powerful in small towns, um, yeah. whether it's Christianity or mm -hmm. Mennonite communities mm -hmm. or all of that. And I think that. I think it's a place, town. you know, if it's a small town, it's like a, yeah, I mean, if they don't have, like the town I grew up in, we didn't have a movie theater, we didn't have a mall, we didn't have, like, so I mean, like a church is kind of like that place people can congregate to and yeah. and kind of, yeah, yeah, so that makes sense. And are small, small towns, like, full of more uh, weirder characters? Like that dude who was talking about the Riverdale Reaper and he was trying to take them to Greendale, uh, that guy was a character. Do you mm -hmm. find that in small towns that uh, people let their freak flag fly more? Uh, I mean, I've sure I've surely encountered a few people in my time that have been strange, but I think that's no matter where <laughs> you go. She's like looking right at Zane. <laughs> <laughs> North Delta, especially. Oh, right. um, oh, but I think he played a key part in this episode because he discussed the Riverdale Reaper. I think that's when we hear someone that's historically right. been trying to pursue something similar as the Black Hood. Right. Mm -hmm. So is, you know, what if the Riverdale Reaper, what if the Black Hood is someone related to the Riverdale Reaper? If we find maybe the identity of the Reaper... You might find the identity of the Black Hood. We can only hope. Just saying. Do you guys know? Because Marisol Nichols tweeted that she knows who the Black Hood is. Do you guys know? You don't need to tell us. Do you know? Mm. <laughs> Wait, how do we have to? We hesitated. Yeah. We hesitated. We hesitated. Ah. Do you hesitate? Do we you know who it yeah. is? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if we know who it is. Wait, maybe oh, we. Our, yeah, maybe our, we have we, an idea our, of who oh, he is, yeah. but we don't know who he yeah, is. We don't know. Okay, then what's your idea? Because obviously you're not spoiling anything. You tell us who your idea uh, is. I don't know. It could be. It could be a few people. I don't know. I'm scared to say. I don't. I don't want to say because I, I don't want to be wrong. Oh, I want to be right. I want to be. If, I, if I'm going like to say it, I want to be a, the right one. Like, give us oh. a couple people <clears throat> you may think that way. It's a little more broader. In terms of theories. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. I had one that I had from like the beginning, and, and I don't really know if this is. I think everyone was like, "There's no way," just because most people are going off of his eyes, right? You can yeah. see a picture of his eyes, so there's always white guy, green eyes, mm -hmm. right? So I've seen ones where it's been Tall Boy, I've seen ones where it's been like Sheriff Keller, or you know, you, I even saw one that they thought it was Archie. Like there's, you know what I mean? People are really reaching for these, but the one, <laughs> the one that I thought was uh, in the beginning was Dilton Doily. That's obviously been ruled out because he doesn't look anything like that. But I remember thinking that he was the Black Hood. We haven't seen it in a while. Maybe he did like a bunch of roids and maybe maybe he grew a foot and put it on some contacts. Speaking I don't of know. roids, Sheriff Keller, this episode is shredded. Oh, hey, new definition of daddy. You know, mm -hmm. they're always like <laughs> tweeting about daddy. Uh, when he was like, okay, this is one thing I gotta say about this show is that I always say this is my favorite unintentional comedy. But there are some lines in today's episode that were so funny when Veronica's down there and she's talking about, I know your wife is away and it must be so hard. <laughs> beat, beat, pause, pause. <laughs> to deal with that. And I was like, this is funny. He's standing there shirtless. Yeah. He's like working out downstairs, Kevin Spacey, American beauty style, which again <laughs> is like, this is trouble territory, mm -hmm. but unintentionally humorous. But yeah, hashtag daddy. Yeah, I mean, I expected her to find some more interesting stuff on Sheriff Keller and it's just him pumping some iron. And I was like, is this, should I be covering my eyes? Like, this well, is really. Know, he's like the only like protection that all of Riverdale has. He and he doesn't keep... do a very good but job. But is he protecting? <laughs> like, he's like Batman for Riverdale. Like, he's gotta, he's gotta make sure his physique is on point. You know, he's gotta be ready at all times. It's just him. Well, when have you seen another cop in in, in that show? It's true. Say anything. 
Right. You got the red circle, and you got Sheriff Killer. That's exact. That's it. So right. Yeah. The guys have you, have you guys seen uh, well, uh, Stranger Things? That cop oh. on the show. Oh. He's useful. <laughs> yeah. He's useful. Yeah. He <laughs> this guy not so useful. <laughs> we had Black Hood kill uh, Sugar Man right in the police station. Yeah. So what is Keller doing? Pumping right. iron at home. What probably. is Keller doing? Popping. Yeah, he's just working out. Yeah. Working out, trying to seduce. Um, uh, uh, the mayor. Monica, but then the mayor, too. <laughs> yeah. That giveaway oh. at the end. That's yeah. a spoiler when he like opens the door and right. then like Robin Givens comes out. And mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, she's going to the head of the class. Ooh, early 90s reference. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually another theory that we have that um, evil Cupcake, who participates with us quite frequently, um, she said that Mayor McCoy is probably going to be the next one to die since she's really being no. sinful. Mm. Dun, that's an dun, interesting dun, dun, theory. <clears throat> yeah. Why are you guys looking at us? Because you guys know. <laughs> you guys, yeah, you, you shot guys give us something episodes. to work with That's here, why. boys. No, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she's the one. She's the next one. <gasps> she's. Is it gonna denying. be Josie? Josie's been having some nightmares about being killed. Yeah, so that was one thing that I really liked mm. about this is that finally we see the pussycats. Like I was like joking that you guys show up in season two and you guys get these, we're the like, new pussycats. You guys are the new pussycats. You guys should like drop a single, do a cover of a milkshake. It should like, be like a, it should be a rap like our, song. I don't know if we rap or we would do like hardcore heavy metal. Oh, rap. yeah, oh, probably. Something like that. Like yeah, I don't know. But it was good to see the pussycats have a storyline, or more so, Josie mm-hmm. have a storyline. Yeah, and. Uh, she had a bit of a stalker. And first I thought it was the janitor, <coughs> Mr. Spencer, who's he's actually creepy. From, he's from the comics, but I don't remember him. I just remember Grundy and Professor Flute Snoot. Oh. Do you guys remember Flute Snoot? Yeah. 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 I mean, we haven't seen Flute Snoot in the show, mm. but Professor, um, Mr. Spencer, the creepy janitor, yeah. He's weird. He's just kind of lurking around at all times. And But he, like when you were saying, like with well, the theory of the Black Hood, he does have like uh, uh, greenish eyes, white dude, older. Oh, okay. So I was like, so is the janitor? How do you say his name again? Spenson. 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 It's hard to say. Spenson. 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 Yeah. That's Spenson. Janitor Spenson. Spenson. Yeah. And I just love how just, he's never seen before and then so casually Josie's like, I'll sneak out the, line of the, the side <laughs> door. Thanks, janitor friend. And who stays in school after 2.30? Like that bell goes and it's like, see ya. I'm not like there till 8 p.m. working on my piano skills. Maybe some of us didn't. <laughs> but yeah. others, I mean... You went to Moet. I've heard lots about you. You can't say anything. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, the rumors. What? I'm what? just kidding. Well, it's a great school. Shut up. Never did know it. I'm totally kidding. I've never met him until second time meeting him. Today. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I ain't going to that. I'm going to that. Fan theories about that. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck Taylor showed up again yep. uh, in yep. this episode. Yep. And Chuck Clayton. Chuck Clayton. Chuck Taylor. Chuck Taylor or shoes, the honey? Yeah. <laughs> the Chuck infamous Clayton. shoe creator? What? <laughs> what? How did you get him on the show? Amazing. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, he yeah. showed up at Pops. Mm. Again, I'm so glad that Pops had some lines. And again, that yeah. was like some hilarity too. Yeah. Because Alfred Sanders, um, mm-hmm. like he's like the he's the president, if you guys don't know, he's the president of UBCP Actra. So the union oh, really? that governs he was, uh, you he guys. Was. Oh, he's not anymore? Well, they just voted and, and, and did they, and did he well, resign he, or did he get voted out? No, he just like his terms up. Oh, so yeah. he's like I'm done. Oh. oh, so he was the president, mm-hmm. and he speaks with such gravitas. Mm-hmm. So when he was like, the Black Hood calls, and this is the reckoning. And actually, the first one of the first plays I was ever in outside of university, like when I graduated, was with him, and he played Salieri in Amadeus. Oh, amazing! And mm-hmm. he has just got this like power. So when Pop Tates finally gets like lines in the season, it's again very comical because he speaks with such power. Yep. But that's when he witnessed Josie and Chuck Clayton on a date. And who goes on a date with a sex offender guy? He wasn't really a sex... What, what do you call I feel that? like he's going to try... I think he'll be a little bit more in this season and he's going to become the nice guy. It's kind of like with Stranger Things, how we all love Steve now, you know? Mm, right. I think we, he uh, might be a good the, guy. Chuck's the new Steve? Yeah, Chuck might be the new Steve. That's my thing. He is trying to be better by going yeah. to church. Does going to church make you better? <laughs> Let's ask all the that's, Abbey that's, folks. That's uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah. undetermined. That's undetermined. Yeah, yeah. yeah Bible yeah. Belt. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of nice people in Abbotsford. Yeah. <laughs> very, nice very people. nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, super yeah. nice. Yeah. And then Asha had some lines too. So Asha, who plays, mm-hmm. wait, she's Melody, uh, Melody one of yep. the Pussycats. Yep. Yep. And when we met her at yep. H- Haley's concert, I'm like, girl, when you get some lines. And she's like, I don't know, hopefully soon. And then but she I was, knew. I legit, when I was watching the episode, I was like, yeah. Yeah, 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 she's the best. She's, yeah. Mom. she's so super awesome. sweet. Yeah. yeah. She had her sassy. She had her sassy time. Yeah. Um, but then uh, going back to the stalker thing is that when um, Josie was getting these weird things in her uh, locker, she had the one uh, teddy bear that said, "I'll be watching you," mm. and then casually they're like, "Oh, there's this box," and they open it. Pig heart. And it's a pig heart. Yeah. Right. And I'm like. The, the reaction to a pig heart was yeah. really like 
if someone just right now gave you a box and you saw a pig heart, how would you even know it was a pig heart? Like, Josie goes and reports and she's like, it was a pig heart. How do you know? Like, I know it could be a heart. How do you know it's a pig heart? Maybe she was at, right. at school just studying biology. Biology. Yeah, and she did biology. Just like happened. Biology. <laughs> in lab class, she's like, yeah. we decided, oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, we, yeah. we dissected yeah. that. Yeah. I recognize that. Yeah. And in a way, that really, really ties in how, like, you know, education can really help, right? <laughs> it can help you solve <laughs> like uh, 100%. percent Like, you know, when you're in high school and you're like, I'll never use this information. Pig heart. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. Use it. That's what they're trying to say. The, the note with the pig heart said, yeah. if I can't. If I can't have you, no one can. So mm -hmm. is the Black Hood like Josie and Betty? I'm a little confused. And Swine. Yeah. With, with a good, like, um, with a nice little drawing, too. Yeah. Right? So and then we find out that it's Cheryl who does the drawing. So does that mean, like, Cheryl is, like, creeping and having a crush on Josie? Ooh, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't put it past her. I don't know. I yeah. just feel sometimes the show goes in a direction and then it goes in the wildest twist that has A, nothing to do with the comics, B, nothing to do with the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, That's so true. He's trying to throw everybody off. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Red yeah. herring, so just used. like abrupt turn. What's like... At the end of the day, it is like, you know, it's a, it's a mystery mm -hmm. show. That's yeah. what it is. You know, it's not it's, it's not so much a teen dramedy as it is a mystery. Like, that's that's what I know. No, I think it is a dramedy. It I think a that's a good dramedy. term, dramedy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you know, they have got they have the drama. And to me, like I said, it is unintentional comedy. It's pretty funny. Um, okay, so we were talking earlier about, uh, we got the theories out of the way, but now I want opinions of other people on the cast. We got the two of you guys together. You guys are Southside Serpents. We know you guys are buds, but we want to know what you think about other people. We're going to do a little segment called Riverdale Yearbook. I'm going to throw out, really most likely two, rapid fire. Okay. Card game. Um, I love card games. This is amazing. All you do is you're going to pick a card. Can I take a bite right. of my burger first? Yeah, do it. Oh, so I'm going to actually know what this will do. I'll, I'll pull the card, <laughs> and then I'll read out what the who the most likely two is, and you guys just quickly tell me who in the cast mm. would be this person, right? Where's this burger from? It's from Johnny Rockets. Johnny Rockets. <laughs> Delicious. Johnny Rockets. Simultaneously, you uh, you can say different answers. Even you can you can assume who you think it would be. How about but we do like a back and forth? Like you answer one, one at a time. Answer. Okay, let's okay. do that. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So uh, you go first. Most yeah. likely to wake up with a half a burrito in their bed. Cammy. <laughs> really? <laughs> she knows it. Nice. Okay. <laughs> um, most likely to have a three-hour conversation about space. Ooh, that's yours, Archie. Okay, did we do that? Yeah. Uh, most likely to spend all day interpreting a text. Cheryl. Cheryl. Madeline. Oh. Most likely they have a dark side. Ooh. Vanessa Morgan. Oh. Vanessa Morgan. Yeah. yeah. It's, come, it's come out on the 13th hour a couple <laughs> times. Oh, yeah. really? She's like, we've been on set way too yeah, long. She, yeah. <laughs> I'm hangry. Uh, oh. <laughs> most likely to be a little bitch. <laughs> Jordan Connor. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, let's do... Uh, there's going to be a little confrontation. Oh, no. Downstairs. Most <laughs> likely to touch everyone excessively for no reason. Oh. Who's very affectionate. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Kevin. Casey. Casey oh, Casey Codd. Oh, oh, but but in a loving, you know what? most, uh, most yes. awesome way. Super nice guy. I uh, ran into him two weeks ago, and yeah. he is the sweetest guy ever. He's I was amazing. telling he's awesome. you. Like, he's awesome. He just he's like, great, hugs yeah. you, and he's like, we love Daily Hive, and I love Zane, and I'm going to oh. come into your as a show. And I was like, okay, good case. Bye, Casey. Nice meeting you. But super sweet and affectionate and like he's really the best. out there. He's, yeah, he's I really love awesome. him. He's awesome. Two more. Uh, most likely to make out with absolutely anyone. <laughs> Drew. I'm just kidding. No! <laughs> Me? Fangs, Bogan. No. Um, answers it for him. Most likely to make out with just anyone. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, uh, Charles Melton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Charles Melton. So I had a chance. <laughs> uh, and last one. Most likely to sing, but shouldn't. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yikes. Oh, Cole. <laughs> oh, yeah. really? Cole. Cole. Good call. Cole Sprouse. Love it. Awesome. Thank you guys for joining us. And again, uh, like the Johnny Rockets page and share this episode for a chance to go see Jordan's show. Uh, yeah, December the night 12th, before Christmas. The 17th. The night before Christmas. What are you playing on that show? Uh, so it's a, it's, it's a really funny play, actually. It's an English play. Uh, so I got a British accent in yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so I got a British oh. accent on it. Oh. Um. But it's a play about uh, about these two guys who find a burglar in their warehouse, their their warehouse of stolen gifts, and he's an, he's dressed as an elf, and he's he, we tie him up, and he tries to convince us that he's an elf, and we try to uh, to get him to tell the truth that he's just a burglar, and and, and hilarity and madness ensues. That's right awesome. We should All check with it British out. accents. Yeah. All with British accents. 12th to 17th. 
Opening night, you're gonna give away tickets. Yeah, too? opening yeah. night. Two yeah, pairs opening of tickets, night. and we'll also send you to Johnny Rocket so you can make a little date night. But mm-hmm. Jordan, as he said at the beginning of the episode, is uh, will kiss you afterwards. Would you say kissing booth? No, I said there's be a kissing booth. Yeah. I didn't say it'd be, it might be the L. Oh, you're not yeah. gonna be the kissing booth. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's gonna be, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, gonna be a hundred dollar <laughs> kissing booth. No $100. one will do it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much for joining us at Drew Ray Tanner at the Jordan Connor. Yep. Uh, from so new and me. This has been Riverdale Rewind. Thanks, See you guys. later. Bye. Bye.